morning, Harry. Just sign for Harry there. We've always had the bus run. It gives us a lot of face-to-face -face contact to the parents. There might be other members of the family around there. We have a little chat, have a yarn, and the kids love it. They jump on the bus, they will wave goodbye to their parents and stuff like that. So um, it plays a really big part in our communication with parents and the community. And, you know, it's, it's fun. All the kids get to see who live where and what's happening. And, and a staff member's always standing out the front saying, good morning, you know, and, and bringing the kids in. Pretty dress, Annabelle. The ways that I try to engage parents is to have an open classroom. They often participate in the morning routine with us, whether it be like putting the stickers in the folders or coming and sitting um, during the mat time. Um, we also like to invite parents to come and be involved, maybe to present an activity. Um, so we often have visitors coming from community as well. And I often do sit down and have a, an informal conversation. It's not a formal, it's, nothing's ever formal um, with our mob too. It's always sitting down, having that informal chit chat around questions that they want to ask you. But on family days, like I'll put something in there, you know, to tell the parents, you know, if you want to help us, because this is what we're doing at the moment, the kids are learning about grandpa, grandpa, it's, all, it's a story about the sea and they could help us create some different sorted sizes of fish and, and of course get them to help the children learn those um, names, those words for size, big, bigger, biggest, you know, because often um, parents are the role models for their children. If the children see the parents interested in something, then it's more likely that the children become interested in it as well. Oh, isn't that a beautiful story? You like that story? talking to parents and having those conversations and you know you have to have your your relationships with those parents and say you know next time when you're at home instead of saying to, to the to your child oh, come on let's set the table and put the cups out let's use the pink cups today we'll pass mommy the, the green peas yeah. Yeah. Right, you don't need to turn the tap on. sitting down on the beach where you know that this is our context you know we're right on the on the on the beach so when you're sitting there get your kids to draw pictures in the sand and say oh this is your name Everyone knows that it's just how we're going to use it that's going to help them in a school environment. If you don't establish those really good relationships with parents, why would parents send them to us? You know, we wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for parents who obviously bring them every day and trust us enough to ensure that their child is safe here every day. Bye. It's because of the relationships we have with family and community that this place is so successful. 